Hey there, this is a uh, quick uh, follow-up uh, to our Shark Week presentation, just explaining a little bit further uh, about the uh, Lizard Renko chart styles and uh, what you can do with them. So uh, let's just dive straight into the uh, charts here. What we see here is uh, the uh, a candlestick view of uh, the uh, Lizard Renko. So uh, if we pull up the uh, data box here and have a look at this candle, we see uh, basically uh, the price action uh, as it uh, occurred. So we have a open here at uh, 28.83 in the ES and a uh, high at uh, 28.83.25 and low at uh, 28. 81.50 and a close at that same level and so if we go up here and choose the uh, lizard brick with the display of uh, bar open and the VIX you basically see uh, the open level here and the same high low and close levels as they occurred so what we're doing here uh, with the uh, chart styles is uh, just uh, choosing the different uh, display of the bars, uh, whereas the underlying information on the chart here remains the same. So if we now we've removed the open and the VIC, just displaying the lizard brick, and we see that the uh, open is still at uh, 28.83 and the high at uh, 28. 83.25 and the low and close levels at 28.81.50. So the uh, real price information is contained uh, underneath this display. So we've basically separated uh, the display and the underlying uh, data. And then of course uh, you can uh, use this as well uh, with the uni brick display. And uh, uh, we have the same options here to uh, display the uh, the VIX as well as the bar open. So uh, that's uh, the basic uh, idea behind the uh, uh, chart styles that you can uh, choose from here. And then uh, we often get a <clears throat> question about the um, creating the median Renko from uh, the uh, Lizard Renko bars. And uh, what you can do then is to choose the T-Renko. The uh, T-Renko is, uh, you see here, we have the D-Renko, T-Renko, and Q-Renko underneath the Lizard Renko. And so this is a, uh, a double, so a, a ratio of one to two. This is a one to three ratio, and this is a, the quadruple is uh, a one to four ratio. And so if you choose the T-Renko, you will have the uh, possibility with the Unibrick to create a median Renko. And uh, basically that means you have the open here in the middle of the previous candle. So that would be a, a median Renko. You can of course also Instead of the T-Renko, just simply use the uh, adjustable Lizard Renko and here manually enter a one to three ratio. So tick trend three and tick reversal setting at nine. Choose here the Unibrick and we have uh, the same, same display here. So that is uh, explaining uh, the basic uh, layout of the uh, Lizard Renko. You have uh, the uh, Lizard Brick uh, as well as the D Renko, T Renko, and Q Renko, along with these uh, chart styles here that I showed the candlestick, the Lizard Brick with the different options here. Just showing the brick, having the VIX, and also the bar open here. And uh, then you also have the Unibrick here, as mentioned. 
Okay, so uh, that will uh, uh, conclude this uh, little video explaining the uh, chart styles and the layout uh, of the Lizard Renko. And then uh, there will be a follow up uh, video on uh, how to call some of the uh, Lizard Renko tools in uh, Bloodhound. And uh, that will be featured in a separate video. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care and bye bye.